Today we're going to talk about GHB. GHB is one of the many interesting recreational drugs, so let's take some time to learn about it. So what is GHB? GHB stands for gamma hydroxybutyric acid. This is the structure right here. It is a naturally occurring neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter being the molecules that the brain uses and nervous system uses to transmit signals. It is a central nervous system depressant. Depressant meaning a compound that produces a relaxation effect in the body like alcohol or Xanax. It is odorless and colorless. These properties we'll talk about in a few minutes because they do have implications when it comes to how the drug is used. It is commonly used as a party drug or club drug. It is also sold under the brand name Zyram. This is a sodium salt of GHB. This is used to treat narcolepsy, specifically cataplexy and excessive sleepiness. Cataplexy being the sudden loss of muscle function. The effects of GHB can include euphoria, drowsiness, visual and auditory hallucinations, heightened empathy. This is similar to drugs like MDMA. GHB has often been compared to a mixture of almost alcohol and MDMA. Kind of a balance between the two, I guess. And you can also expect disinhibition. Disinhibition is the feeling you get when you drink alcohol, which is why it's called liquid courage. GHB has that similar effect along with all these others. How does GHB work? So in a nutshell, it binds to GABA. We've talked about GABA. Long story short, this leads to central nervous system depression, euphoria, disinhibition, sleep. In my other videos, we mentioned that GABA is a receptor that alcohol connects to benzodiazepines like Xanax, anesthetics, quaaludes. It's a very interesting receptor that usually produces things like sedation, euphoria, and all sorts of other things. GHB also connects to the GHB receptor, which is very interesting because this is what causes a stimulation-like effect. And the name for this whole thing is the rebound effect. I thought this was interesting because I believe this is how this drug is used for the excessive sleepiness in Zyrem for narcolepsy. As I mentioned, it can be compared to alcohol and MDMA. And I don't know how this fits in, but it does increase libido or sex drive. Like many recreational drugs, there are uses and abuses. It is a party drug, as I mentioned before. It can come in liquid or powder form. Now this is where the odorless and colorless thing comes in. If you are consuming this substance as a liquid, you won't know what it is because it has no weird color to it. It looks like water. It has MDMA and alcohol-like effects and it can be mixed with alcohol. It does have a soapy or salty taste to it. Now these properties, while opening the door up for a party-like atmosphere, it is also used for some heinous things. It is a date rape drug. Because of its properties and its ability to be mixed with alcohol, GHB is known to produce amnesia. I mentioned before, sedation, euphoria, all sorts of different things. But this amnesia portion is where the abuse comes in. If someone were to slip GHB in your drink, enough GHB would cause you to forget pretty much anything that happened that night. It's also important to know that GHB can do something called reducing the elimination rate. But what does this mean? When we consume drugs, let's say alcohol, our body doesn't want it. When we consume alcohol, there's a reason why we urinate a lot because we're trying to get it out of our system. This is our body eliminating that substance. GHB can reduce that elimination, which keeps a certain amount of alcohol in our system and GHB, which can exacerbate all of these adverse effects that you don't want, like amnesia and things like that. Just like the videos I've made on other drugs, it can be adulterated with other contaminants. It's often made in bulk because it's cheap. It can be made with things like lye and drain cleaner. One thing I did want to mention, this is not breaking bad. Just think for a second. The odds of someone making this stuff in like a bathtub or a pot with cheap ingredients, the odds of them having an advanced chemistry degree to purify this substance is almost impossible. Whenever you're consuming substances like this that can be made at home, it's never going to be pure unless you have a skilled chemist, but this is not how that works. This is not the cartel. You can add all sorts of crazy stuff to this drug. Most of the time, if you're listening to this video and you've consumed GHB, the odds of you having consumed pure GHB is very, 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 very low. This is the issue with all sorts of drugs that are out now. You don't know what's in them, so you have to really be aware of what you're putting in your body. These amateur chemists are not Walter White. They're not out here making a pure substance. It's most likely 
got all sorts of nasty things in it that you do not want. The adverse effects of GHB can be a loss of consciousness, amnesia like I just mentioned, confusion, respiratory depression. This is directly related to death. I've mentioned in my other videos like lean, how if you consume too many sedatives, your body can relax so much that you stop breathing. And there are also visual and auditory hallucinations like I mentioned earlier. So let's go through the summary and review what we learned. So we talked about how GHB was a central nervous system depressant. It's used as a party drug. It is sold under the brand name Xyrem and it has a whole host of different effects. It works by connecting to these structures that result in this central nervous system depression, euphoria, disinhibition. It binds to the GHB receptor, which does a stimulation-like effect. We then closed out with talking about its use and abuse. It is a party drug that can come in liquid or powder form. Unfortunately, it does have the ability to produce amnesia, which is why it can be used as a date rape drug and it reduces the elimination rate of alcohol. It can often be combined with all sorts of nasty chemicals because of how it's made, and it has a whole host of adverse effects like loss of consciousness, amnesia, and in some cases, death, which I didn't mention before. So that's all I got. I hope you guys learned a lot. I definitely learned a little bit more about this substance. I am gonna post a video in the description about a comedian telling his story of consuming GHB. It's pretty funny, but it also, gives you a real world perspective on what this drug can do. So thank you guys so much for watching and listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends, and I'll be back soon with another video.